For my open design project, I created a robotic can that will emulate a user's motion. This project falls under the kinetic art category since the robotic can will mirror a human's motion. The robotic can has five fully functioning fingers, a stand, five servos, and a circuit that connects the five servos to an external battery pack and to the Arduino, which will read signals from the flex sensors. The flex sensors are attached to a glove, so when the user bends a certain finger, it'll actuate a particular servo. And when the servo is actuated, it'll pull down on the thread and pull down on the robotic finger. So what are flex sensors? Well, effectively, they're variable resistors. So when one of them is flex, it'll change the value of the resistance, which will send a signal to the Arduino, which will control a particular servo. Now, flex sensors are quite expensive, so I had to create my own to standard budget. I did this by adhering copper foil tape to cardboard, and then taping wire to that copper foil tape. And now to ensure that two opposite copper foil tape pieces do not touch, I placed a piece of paper which had been fully colored in graphite in between the two layers. And when I taped the two layers together, I had a fully functioning flex sensor. When I repeated this process enough times, I had enough flex sensors for a glove. And then I began to work on the robotic hand. I started by taking pieces of foam which I got from a toy sword and cutting them into the shapes of fingers. Then I used my own hand as a guide to cut out the shape of the palm from another piece of foam. And then I secured all the components together with hockey tape. And when I connected my flex sensor to the circuit and uploaded my code to the Arduino, I was ready to start controlling the hand. The hand functions very well, but perhaps its best feature is that it can have incremental positions for each finger. The screen on the left shows the flex position of a particular flex sensor over time. In this example, the ring finger is bent to several incremental positions, and this demonstrates the value of using a flex sensor as opposed to something like buttons. It allows the user to move the finger of the robotic hand to a very particular position. Just listen to the servo in the next clip and you can hear the several different incremental positions that the finger takes. With something like buttons, the fingers could remain fully open or be fully closed. But these sensors enable the user to control the hand with a level of accuracy that cannot be replicated with simple buttons or switches. Overall, I was very satisfied with how the project turned out. After using the hand for quite a while, I can say that the hand feels very responsive. These clips are impressive, but they don't fully convey the true feeling of controlling the hand for yourself. Regardless, I'm very happy with the final result. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and now, I'm going to make a foot.